Come on, answer the fucking phone, bro. I repeated for seven years and that ain't nobody ever tell me to go to sleep. <laughs> Listen, man, I can tell you're just hanging out with me because uh, I'm alone, bro. I love you, all right? Lang, where you at? Uh, where do you want to meet? Uh, probably Cerberus because I want to meet with you and Dean. Uh, Dean's asleep, buddy. Fuck. Well, I'll, I'll there, start though. by... I'll start by meeting with you. Lang, this is some juicy shit. All right. I'm at Cerberus. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. You still the burn fall on you? Thanks, man. Wasn't aware. Thank you, good sir. You see the new Throne of Liberty gameplay? No, link it. Didn't that game get delayed though? Did you know the queen died? Oh, Abby's alive still, bro. What are you talking about? Think the gameplay, I want to see it. I gotta sneeze. Imagine people are saying you're gay, keep the drug, people just don't reply back, man. I don't think anyone's said that, bro. Except for maybe weird delusional viewers. What's going on, Mickleton? Let's run through the list, Lang. Yeah, no, I'll I take think a look. I have good, great, and even better news. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, let's start with uh, our sister city. We have a, uh, you know, as you know, you've flown down to South America. Well, I took a trip out east. Actually, I don't know if I flew east. Honestly, I probably flew west. I don't know what the fastest route to India is. I flew to India. Uh, there, I met with the Crown Prince of India, who is actually just a deputy mayor there. But Lang, politics there are very different. Everyone respected this Crown Prince, man. He had the entire Senate uh, wake up just to meet me, threw a giant festival party for me. There's crazy events going on. I mean, India was something else. But the Crown Prince does lack some power, and he wants to become the mayor we also talked about the sort of respective uh governing of our cities there's a little bit more of a lawless land police force is uh lacking in its capabilities Bang. here's what i proposed we the north american state of los santos do what americans do best we give weaponry to other countries as well as advanced military and aggressive police training in exchange for absolute loyalty, a lot of money, and definitely nothing that will bite us in the ass 30 years later. Okay. So, what I'm proposing is this, Lang. Whatever we're developing with Cerberus Industries, we sell that and ship it to India to arm their police force. In addition, we send members of our high command to train the Indian police force and we charge them for it. Okay. Like, this is like, it's one thing to profit off of our own police force and domestically, like we're talking foreign money we're talking actual you know weapons deals with other nations like oh my god we can choose that i mean yeah it sounds like a fantastic idea logistics might be difficult to pull off 
Yeah. I really need to talk to Dean about the logistics for that one um, and a lot of other people. But, I mean, for example, they don't have fighter jets for their police force. They might not have the necessarily training. So guess what? We take Snow, who has now developed the SOPs and the Top Gun program. Snow runs the Top Gun program here. Upon completion of that, he runs it again in India. We fly Snow over there. I'll let him fly, you know, first class up in the sky, uh, Jack Harlow shit. And then we profit off of selling additional fighter jets and missiles to India. Additional, you know, other police equipment we can sell. Send it over with Kyle Pred. Can you imagine Kyle Pred teaching them how to do, I don't know, crazy raids and stuff? They're apparently lacking. This is a, a complaint that the Crown Prince brought to me. They lost control of their prison, didn't know how to raid it to get it back. They needed... Wait, what? They still don't have control of it? No, oh, they pardoned all the prisoners. They didn't do what we did. Jesus. Oh, we, were, we were ready to fucking... We were ready to scorch earth, Bolingbrook. And they pardoned See, them, huh? Listen, Lang. This is what I've realized. It's all about specialization. What does Cerberus do better than anyone else? Advanced make money. Tech, make money. Advanced technology. That's, that's the special... Good business investing and strategy. That's their specialization, right? Right. Now, what, is, what does you know do better than anyone? Hacking. You know, as a master hacker, can get into anything. Well, he's Sag Farming, but the, yeah. Well, Sag Farming, too, yes. What does the U.S. do better than anyone, Lang? Aggressive uh, policing. Make fast food. Well, and that. But aggressive policing and meddling in other countries' business with military involvement. Okay. This is perfect for us. We can create one of the strongest arms deals ever. Secondly, we can have a little bit of a political uh, connection as well. I'm planning to actually fly in to India to help the Crown Prince campaign for mayorship. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, I'm down for all this. This is definitely like a Dean that needs to be here kind of conversation, though, for sure. It's, that's what I was saying. It's definitely a Dean needs to be here uh, conversation. I do like uh, the idea second, of it a lot, though. Secondly, uh, all other legislation has been submitted. Um, one of the senators got back to me. Um, uh, Crypto for Coin. Uh, his biggest concern was how do we pay for the legislation because he thinks that crypt crypto is down right now, so he doesn't think we can pay for it. I, I, I don't know if he speaks English very well. Crypto for Coin. Um, Anyways, but yeah, the legislation submitted. Um, okay, I held off on ex explaining it till now, but I did submit the legislation for me to run for a third term. Oh, yes. So, again, I had a ghostwriter write it. I won't reveal my new ghostwriter. It's a secret. And you can keep them out of the city. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. They're actually in the city. Oh, somebody you met in this city. I can't say anything else. Damn. But okay. They're a, they're a very clever ghostwriter, Lang. Here's the problem. If I pitch this to the Senate that I can run for a third term, the Senate might look at it and just say no. Okay. So what we discussed was, well, what if we have it be a piece of legislation that the city has to vote on? Um, You know, something where... The city has to vote and say, okay, yes, Mickey and other mayors can run for a third term, you know, yada, 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 whatever. And then after that's approved, then the election comes. The problem with that is I don't know if the Senate wants to logistically support that and, like, open up voting before the election. You know, like, I don't know if the city wants to vote on a piece of legislation, then vote on the mayor. It's kind of weird. Yeah. So, this ghostwriter came up with this idea. Any mayor can run for a third term, but the third term is a special term where they have to win by either a majority or a supermajority of, of votes. Basically says it's a spicy third election that only if the city really wants this person as mayor can they win. It's perfect for me too. It makes it spicy. I actually have to campaign and bust my ass. The two proposed numbers I like this. are... Yeah, the two proposed numbers were 50% and 60%.
one is just a, is just majority as opposed to plurality and then the 60 percent, which i think the senate might go for is basically saying a super majority 60 percent of all votes have to be for that mayor it doesn't matter if they get the most votes they have to get 60 percent of the city's votes spicy right i like this a lot i like this a lot yeah it also cuts all the you know bullshit of like you know no oh, we have to change the constitution or we have to do this this and that it's Hey, it's yeah. only for a third term, majority or super majority, whichever the Senate picks. Okay. And when he, uh, if you submitted this already? It's all submitted. We'll Damn. Let him see. So you're going to really go for it, huh? In the email, I also uh, tried to emphasize, I actually emphasized in the body of the email to the Senate, that specific piece of legislation so that they can uh, choose if they want to entertain it earlier rather than later. Okay. All right. I mean, we ain't really got any mu much updates for you. I do want to show you something later, though. But uh, it's probably better we don't go there yet because it's, it scuffs my whole day up if we go there right now. But uh, the factory is pretty much ready. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, the, uh, the final piece of news. This is just like the good news, but it could be really great news. Um. Whether it be the send off of this term or whether it be sort of the start of my third term, um, we're I'm going to do tourism week for Los Santos. It's um, going to be a whole series of legislation that I'm pitching to the Senate, basically just to get right off to spend state money on it. We're going to uh, advertise and broadcast for people who have never visited Los Santos from around the world coming in and uh, try it and like all that. during that week i will be yeah the state basically is going to pay a massive amount of money to individuals in the city their jobs for a week will basically be to uh help chaperone and tutorialize new people to the city and uh yeah we're gonna host a bunch of events kind of a celebration of los santos uh, especially for making it uh, accessible for new people to come visit the city that is a really good idea. I'm sure people will yeah. love that. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm so for it that I'm even uh, even spending some uh, non-Los Santos current. I'm willing to spend non-Los Santos currency to sort of uh, broadcast it on some uh, additional social medias and stuff. Make it a really big event. Uh, how cute of you, Mickey. You're such a good mayor. I know. And yet I've stolen more than all the other mayors combined. Wait, 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 you stole what? Well, you know, I'm a good mayor except for the whole I embezzled, you know, now tens of millions of dollars. Yeah, we don't got to talk about that. It's fine. Yeah, we don't got to talk about that. Yeah. Um, those are the three big updates. Um, war deals with India. Um, running for the third term and next series of legislation which will focus on tourism week that's it hell yeah well it seems like you got a lot of uh, work cut out for you there Mickleton. i'm sure you'll pop off though like i said i I'm got a few worried. updates for you but uh unfortunately i was going to show you today but i can't because everything's scuffed so you know it is what it is well that's fine yeah oh i have other news uh have you <clears throat> noticed anything different about me Oh, you got your eye back. Both eyes, Ling. I lost another eye. Wow. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you this story. This is a great story. Um, remember how I was going to buy the gems from Rami? Yeah. Okay, I'll try and do the quick version of this story. I was going to buy the gems from Rami, stimulate the restaurant economy, etc. Yeah. Uh, I met with Rami at Maldini's to finalize the deal. When we were there, we were negotiating prices. My starting price was 10 million. He wanted 15. We eventually negotiated and compromised at 12 million. We shook on it. Um, and then while leaving Maldini's, I was shot in the kneecaps by Mr. K, who was very upset with me because I'm funding the police, which I kind of have to do. If I don't fund the police, I actually uh, just get removed by the Senate. Fun fact. Um, yeah. But apparently they had learned that uh, 
the police were getting um, grenade launchers with tear gas and some other equipment, which they weren't. But apparently Eugene has been sneaking into the PD meetings and uh, Sheriff Kyle Pred uh, debated Eugene and convinced him that they had grenade launchers. So <laughs> they took it out on me. <laughs> But not before I paid the twelve million to Rami, so I backed out of the deal because um, I don't want to make state deals for twelve million dollars with people who are going to shoot me at the meetings. So uh, I backed out of the deal, um, and then I was kidnapped by Rami again, along with my security. I was told I wouldn't be shot. But then I was shot by the end of it. Yeah, oh, and they sounds took out my right. eye. Uh, I was informed that I had poor business etiquette for backing out of the deal. Twelve million dollars is a lot of money. Me. Yeah. Well, yeah, shooting someone in the kneecaps during a business deal is, you know, yeah, it's probably not the best way to get twelve million dollars. That's for sure. Yep. Anyways, now I was blind for a day, Lang, and I. Listen, Lang, I, I genuinely thought I was going to be blind. I was about to start hounding you and Dean to get the cybernetic eye for me. But would you believe this? The very same day that I go blind, an EMS member died. And it was the same EMS that pretended to be me during the last election to try to smear my name, dressed up in a suit, did a bunch of crimes, trying to pretend to be me. That guy died. Perfect match for an ocular transplant and uh pillbot performed a long and arduous operation on me and i have two eyes now well are we still gonna make you a cybernetic eye or what yes please please i really want the cybernetic eye Hate yeah we got eyes. you we're, we're, we're working on something buddy don't worry about it okay well that's all the news and updates i have for you all right, hell yeah, I got nothing much for you. I mean, I got some shit for you, but it's going to be on Scuff first before I show it to you. So that's pretty much where that ends. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I'm going to actually chill in my head for a few minutes, all right? Fine. Yeah, I got, I, you know, I got to take a little break, okay? Jesus. Okay, take a little break and then uh, meet up with me. I'll give it a call. Oh, let's see this dog shit.